Welcome back. So now let's dig into the RUS Uniform System of Accounts. Now when you think of a chart of accounts, we call this a Uniform System of Accounts, but it's really a chart of accounts. But the chart of accounts tells the story of your business, as we said in the first segment. How you, how you uh, produce power, how you transmit it, how you distribute it to your customers, and how they use it in their businesses, in their homes, in their factories, in their retail establishments, and things like that. It all flows through your chart of accounts, through expenses, through revenues, and so on. And the attributes of a good chart of accounts is that, first off, it gives you good and useful financial detail. It facilitates effective financial reporting, and it allows for good management review and analysis of revenues, expenses, and capital spend. So you're going to use this chart of accounts to tell the story of your utility on where you've been and where you're going. It also has to be easy to teach, repetitive, descriptive without being burdensome, and it allows comparability to your peer cooperatives. And you know, when it comes to easy to teach and repetitive and descriptive without being burdensome, that aids in training your finance team. Uh, I don't know what position you're in, but perhaps you'll move on to a different position, get promoted, maybe even take another job, but maybe there's a replacement for you someday. And you want to have in place a system where you can train new people on how to use it and have it be fairly easy to use and then repetitive and so on. And finally, that comparability to your peers well, you use what we call key performance indicators to measure your performance, help with your business planning, and then also compare to co-ops that are similar to you and how they do things and what they're spending as well. So it's very helpful there. And there's also different users of financial information. You have managers, customers and ratepayers, management, media, board of directors, bond rating agencies, and so on. And they all have a different use for your chart of accounts and your financial reports. Your managers are managing budgets. Uh, management is looking at strategy and evaluating spending and so on. Your board of directors are, in, are approving rates. Bond rating agencies are looking at your finances. Your customers are, are talking about how great your rates are and things like that. Well, not really, but in any case, there's different users of the financial information, but it's all coming from that same chart of accounts. So this brings us to the R RUS Uniform System of Accounts, what we call the RUS USOA. So again, RUS is Rural Utility Service, and this is the industry standard in accounting for cooperative accounting, and it's activity based. So it captures cost by function, and you say, well, why is this important? Well, when it comes to developing your electric rates, a key component in a cost of service study is what's being done. Am I reading a customer's meter? Am I serving a customer? Am I uh, trimming trees? Am I doing maintenance on transformers? Do I work in finance in the office? All those activities are accounted for separately and that drives the cost of service and what you charge your customers. So the RUS USOA defines the rules for expense and capital. It has descriptive detail for how each account should be used. And the benefits of this are consistency, using to develop the uh, key performance indicators. It's used by your peer cooperatives because it's required by RUS and you're all under that RUS umbrella. Again, it's easy to teach, it's portable. So if you say you were going to work at another electric co-op, you would already know the RUS USOA. And finally, it fits that cost of service approach. So it helps with budgeting and allocating resources, with planning and measuring results. So the RUS USOA organization of the system of accounts has details on every account, on construction, recording transactions, and the detailed use of every account. So let's take a quick look at it and give you a nice overview of how it's set up. So here is the RUS Uniform System of Accounts. Now I would urge you to download this. It's in the first lesson of this course. There's a copy of this, and you can also get this online as well. You can see it's Bulletin 1767B-1, all this stuff. If you Google that, you will go right to it. But again, this is from RUS, 
and the latest version of this is 2008 and it has a lot of detail in it and a detail for every account so you see it has a section on definitions on the purpose the accounting system basically says have a cruel basis of accounting and so on um, it has general instructions utility plan instructions and operating expense instructions and so on and so here's a sample of some of the accounts and i'll show you this on a few slides as well but underneath every one of these when you get into the meat of this is a description of what goes in the account and how to account for it. Now it has a section on, let's go to page 39 here, on electric plant. And so what this does is talk about how you account for electric plant and service. So when you build something, it says here are the components of construction cost and it's to be recorded at cost, but here are what the items of cost are that should be included. And it also talks about how you should have a work order system in your organization at your co-op. And if you don't know what a work order system is, just ask around in your office. It's just a way to do cost accounting for cooperatives. And if you'd like a lot more detail on it, we also have a whole course series on work order systems, what's included, how to analyze projects, fixed assets, the whole nine yards. Uh, you can check that out as well. So I'm just going to do a quick cruise down and we're going to play the lottery and come to an account. And I'll show you what I mean by what's included in there as well. So let's try this. Plant and service is always a good one. We'll have another example of this coming up here. But let's look at boiler plant equipment. So production facilities. So here's the account. 312 and here are all the items that are included in there okay so you see a lot of detail and you say well how could i possibly absorb all this detail and do that well what happens is is when you're doing a project comes time to put the cost in the general ledger you you pull out the uniform system of accounts do the analysis and so on so it gets to the right point so it has this for plant and service accounts, expense accounts, revenue accounts. We're going to show you a couple more slides about that. Just wanted to give you an overview of it. Of course, download this, have it ready for review and so on. You'll, you'll be glad you did. It'll make your accounting life a lot easier. So our key takeaways from, from this segment here are this. A good chart of accounts tells the story of your business. Where you've been, where you are, where you're going. And the RUS Uniform System of Accounts is the standard for electric co-ops and the level of detail in the RUS USOA provides a roadmap for effective use. So we'll dig into this a little deeper in the next segment, but you saw just from that quick scrolling that I did that there's a lot of specifics when it comes to how you account for things. So let's go down that roadmap and take a deeper dive into the instructions to help you in your business.